And taking a look at James's face, it's symmetrical, uh, there's no masses or lesions, it's without any involuntary muscle movement. And then taking a look at the hair, the hair is fine and evenly distributed without any signs of alopecia. And uh, the scalp is slightly dry but nothing out of normal. And James, let me know if you have any pain with any of this. No. Okay. So no pain on palpation, the skull is normocephalic and atraumatic. So James, we're going to move on to the eyes now. Um, so first we're going to start by testing your visual acuity, and I see that you're wearing corrective lenses, so you can keep them on for this part of the exam. I'm just going to be measuring away from your face here. Good. And so James, I'll have you cover one eye for me, and if you can read that bottom line there for me. Um, four, two, six, seven, three, nine. Perfect. And can you cover the other eye and just read that backwards for me? Nine, three, seven, six, two, four. Okay, excellent. So uh, visual acuity with 20-20 intact bilaterally uh, with corrective lenses. So James, now I'm actually going to have you take your glasses off for this next part. And what I'm going to do is have my hands behind your head and then bring them into your field of view. And I'd like you to let me know when you can see them, okay? So I'm going to have you stare just at the bridge of my nose here while we do this. Okay. And which one's wiggling? That one. Good. One more time. Yep. And which one's wiggling? That one. Great. So visual fields are intact in all four quadrants. Uh, and on, on, excuse me, on inspection of James's eyes, uh, the eyelids are without ptosis, entropion or ectropion. The sclera are white without erythema. And James, I'll have you just look up with your eyes. And conjunctiva are pink. Um, next, we're going to take a look at the lens. So James, just keep staring at the bridge of my nose here. Good, so no opacities or crescenteric shadows. And uh, corneal reflection is symmetrical bilaterally. And James, just keep staring straight at the bridge of my nose here. Good, and if I can have you stare at the tip of my pen light and then focus on the back wall and back to the pen light and back to the back wall. Great, so Perla DNC. And then James, if you can keep your focus on my pen light and without moving your head at all, follow it with your eyes. Great, and you can relax for me. So cranial nerves three, four, and six are intact bilaterally. Um, no nystagmus noted and convergence uh, also intact bilaterally. So next, James, is the uh, ophthalmoscopic exam. So I'm gonna be taking a look in your eyes. You'll, feel a, you'll see a bit of a bright light, and you'll feel the tip of this just touch your brow. Um, but I'll try to be quick. Okay. So if I can have you just pick a spot on the back wall and uh, stare at it for me. I'm just gonna brace your head. Red reflex noted. There we go. And we're going to do that one more time on the other side. So again, stare at that back wall. Red reflex noted. Okay, great. So everything looks great there. Uh, optic di disc and optic cup were visualized. Uh, they had clear borders. They were pearly, pearly white in color. Uh, no um, AV nicking noted and no papilledema. So James, next we're going to move on to the ears. Uh, sorry, you can put your glasses back on. Um, so for the first part of this test, I just want to test your auditory acuity. So I'm going to be standing behind you whispering a series of three numbers or letters, and I'd like you to repeat those back to me, okay? Okay, so can you plug your right ear for me? B, N, 6. B, N, 6. Perfect. And the other ear? L59. Awesome. So auditory acuity was intact bilaterally. And on inspection of the ears, again, no obvious masses or lesions. James, let me know if you have any pain with this. No. Okay, so no pain on tug test. And then we're just going to take a look inside the ears. So James, I'll have you tilt your head just slightly away from me. That's perfect. Okay. And the other side. Just tilt your head slightly away. Perfect. Okay, great. So uh, tympanic membrane was visualized, cone of light visualized. It's pearly gray in color without erythema and a slightly yellow waxy cerumen uh, in the ear canal. So James, we're going to move on to the nose now. So on inspection of the nose, again, no obvious masses or lesions noted. Uh, the nose is symmetrical and we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. 
So James, I'll have you tilt your head just slightly back for me, and if you can take a deep breath in and hold it, perfect. Okay, and you can breathe out. And we're gonna do that one more time on the other side. Good. Okay, you can relax. So upper and lower turbinates were visualized, they're pink in color, uh, no perforation or deviation of the septum, and a slight watery discharge was noted. So James, actually I have to get you to take your glasses off one more time. Just let me know if you have any pain with any of this. No. Okay, so no pain on palpation of the frontal or maxillary sinuses, and you can go ahead and put your um, glasses back on. And taking a look at the mouth, James's lips are pink, slightly dry. I'll get you to open your mouth for me. Mucosa is pink, good dentition, teeth are firmly seated, no obvious cavities, and can I get you to say ah for me? Uh. Uvula rises midline, so everything looks great there. And James, this last part is a little bit uncomfortable, but uh, we'll try to be as gentle as possible. So first, I'll get you to stick your tongue out for me. Beautiful, and can you move it side to side? Awesome. So cranial nerve 12, intact bilaterally. And now the uncomfortable part. So James, I'll have you stick your tongue out one more time. I'm just gonna grab onto it here. I'm just feeling the sides. Okay, perfect, thanks. So no lesions or masses were palpated uh, on the tongue. Okay, James, we are going to uh, move on to the lymph nodes. So just let me know if you have any pain with any of this. Mm. Preauricular, non-palpable. Postauricular, non-palpable. Tonsillar. One almond sized mobile lymph node on the right side, submandibular non palpable, submental non palpable, posterior cervical non palpable, superior cervical non palpable. I'm going to get you to tilt your head to the side, the other side, deep cervical non palpable. And can you raise your shoulders up? And superclavicular non palpable. Taking a look at the trachea, uh, the trachea is midline without deviation, coming down off of the cricoid cartilage. James, can I have you tilt your head slightly forward? Perfect. And can I get you to swallow for me? Perfect. So the thyroid is uh, soft uh, without bogginess or nodules and rises midline on swallowing. James,